down. I'm gonna make sure these bastards remember my fucking name. Outstanding. Hello there, I'm uh, Mike Benby one aka Mike Jarnot, <laughs> silly name I made up a couple of, a few years ago. Uh, I'm also known as Penby66 HD Gaming, right? All channels are linked, so check check me out and uh, all my various YouTube channels and whatnot, SoundCloud, you name it. Um, but this this video is about um, FL Studio and why I use it and uh, how easy I find it is to achieve a jar sound. Now, one of the most beautiful pieces of music I've ever heard, electronic music that is, uh, electronic ambient music is Equinox Part 2 and I believe he used the eminent 310 unique organ I mean I could be wrong on that correct me if I'm wrong you jar fans out there but I've been listening to it I mean um, let's have a, have a listen to the actual let's have a listen to the, the part the part in question let's Let's stop that. Now, basically, we, we all know that as um, as Equinox Part Two. I mean, I hope I don't get <laughs> done for copyright. For you know, this is just for demonstration purposes, not to uh, make money or anything like that. It's just just to show that I I, th I find it easier easy to replicate certain sounds that he's made. Um, the way I've done it is I've used a PK e Eminent Three Ten Unique sound font. Yeah. If I go to my folder, I've got all these. See that? Um, I'm trying to find these jar sounds. Ethnic color, harp. That's the laser harp sound, and it's you know pretty good. But you find with it being a sound font, they're not brilliant in quality. But in this video, I want to also show you ways of enhancing the sound and bringing out the crispness and the cl clarity of the sound using various plugins I'll show you what I mean James Yard collection see look this look at that's 29 megabytes of sounds there pad Elka sync Syn syntax bass God untangle your tongue Pemby um Elka syntax plus choir now that goes with the um the sound font the you know the uh, the laser harp as you can see the pad equinox cloud I mean, that, I could add that, but then it's like it's more cheating than uh, you know. Just I mean, already I've add, I've added the um, the L, what do you call it? The PK Eminent three ten strings. If I add that as well, you know, it'll sound too much like the original. And I'd like to you know do some sounds on my own. But anyway, as you can see, there's a few jar sounds in there. Rendezvous two. I mean, that's covers quite a few sounds. That Rendezvous two. Um, anyway, let's get off that. Now, I'm going to play you a little bit of what I've done using the PK Eminent 310 Unique sound font. Now, this is without any effects whatsoever. Here's, here's, the, um, here's the mixer. I've got... It's called Bright Strings because I, I, that's what I normally use, but I've, I've, I've not changed the title of that. This is actually the P10... The, what do you call it? The... <laughs> the eminent 310 unique let's just call it an eminent you know what i'm talking about but i've used the big rock which i'll go into in a minute i've used a reverb and i've used a graphic equalizer plugin which you know brings out the sound now the original sound is is beautiful as we all know but if i just play play it now As you heard then you recognize that if you know the track but it sounds there's, there's no real you know there's no phaser strings there's no phaser effects on it there's no not much in the way of reverb and it sounds a bit dull as I, I if I had the big rock I'll show you the big rock there we go now I've used the PD eminent jar high color preset. I mean you can mess about with that you know if, you, if you're a real expert on using the small stone phaser this is the big rock because that's why it's called big rock you know because it's the equivalent in software form very very good um 
phase shifter by Arts Acoustic, and it's the only one that I've found that closely, you know, follows the small stone. I mean, I could be wrong on that, but I mean, other guys who use Reason have got their own ways of doing this kind of thing, you know. And but th for me, this is the this is a brilliant, brilliant plugin. Um, I use this reverb, the regular reverb, but I use this one, presets, the Cathedral preset. All right, nice, nice big fat reverb, basically. Let's 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 listen to it again without. And let's put the big rock on and put the reverb on. Now to me that sounds a bit dull. So this graphic equalizer, which you can anybody can download, it's by Sir Elliot. Just type in, just Google Sir Elliot 18 band graphic equalizer. Alright? Now, if you know about graphic equalizers, you know that these are that's your mid-range, that's your bass, and this is your treble. Now, I've just raised each and every one of them to a point where to my ears it sounds a lot better. Right, so let's get rid of that and let's turn that. Well, let's listen to it without. Sounds a bit muffled, like there's a filter, too much of a filter on it. But add this. Anyway. That's how I do, how I replicate a lot of jazz, beautiful sounds, innovative sounds, innovative music, classic music, right? Using modern technology, using the tools of these days, you know? Um, some might say, well, you've got no talent, you don't stand there with a, a synthesizer performing. I don't, because, I mean, for once, I haven't got, the, for one thing, I haven't got the confidence to do that. And, um, you know, I don't own any synthesizers anymore because uh, I've had to sell the last one out. <laughs> but that's another story. But anyway, that's Equinox 2 done in FL Studio using sound fonts and various effects to bring out the sound. Okay, I'm uh, hang on. actually let's listen to uh, what I've done. I've actually used another synthesizer. This deep transition pad by HG Fortune in the. Let's see what this this actual. S this synthesizer, what's it called? It's, I know it's the, I forget the name of it because it's got ST11V or something like that. But if you go on his website, you're bound to find it. And I've used this preset, deep transition pad, and I've turned, I've muted the dark strings, the alt, alt strings. I've kept the sparkling on and turned that bit off as well. And I've got this effect. I'll go, let's play. Let's play it from about there. No, sorry, about there. Um, there we go. Now that's an early version of my Equinox 2 cover. Right, I've only just started doing it, so it's a bit raw, still a bit rough around the edges. But you know, I'm looking forward to challenging myself to, um, you know, make a decent cover of it and pay a tremendous respect to the one and only Jean Michel Jarre. I'm Pemby66, Mike Jarre, Mike Pemby1. Thanks for watching.